Switzerland is mostly known for the Alps and its mountain scenery as well as impressive landscapes and beautiful nature. Every year, hundreds of thousands of travelers from all over the world visit the country in Central Europe to experience the truly unique geography. It is certainly not a cheap European country, but the country has the perfect ingredients to intoxicate your senses with its endless natural wonders. If you want to make sure that you do not miss out on good spots, check our recommendations on the best cities to visit in Switzerland. Zurich. It is probably going to be the first city you will visit in Switzerland and this place will leave you with one hell of a memorable first impression. The city is located right by the bank of Limit River where you will find all these colorful houses perfectly lined up along the riverfront of the old town. It is such a beautiful city that it is often considered to be among the most livable cities in Europe. It is also a city of culture and there are a plethora of museums to visit such as the Swiss National Museum housed within an Alpine-style castle. When you have good weather, Checking out the Berkelplatz can be a good idea to get a great view of the Alps from Lake Zurich and you will also find a lot of things to do around this area. Zurich is the perfect city for pedestrians since most of the sites are in and around the old town can easily be reached on foot. Afterward, you might want to visit the Fraumünster Church or the Kunsthaus Zurich with an incredible number of exhibits. With all its sites, beautiful architecture, and closeness to nature, Zurich is one of the best places to visit in Switzerland. Lucerne Lucerne may be one of the most populous cities in central Switzerland but for some reason, it doesn't feel crowded at all there. Located right on the shores of Lake Lucerne, surrounded by green open spaces, snow-capped mountains, and beautiful architecture, Lucerne is truly one of the most beautiful places to visit in Switzerland. One of the city's most famous landmarks is the Chapel Bridge, built in the 14th century. T is the oldest wooden bridge in Europe built in 1365 and with its beautiful paintings an absolute must-see. In a small park, lies the famous Lion Monument, a poignant sculpture of a dying lion which honors the heroic death of Swiss guards during the attack on the Tuileries in the French Revolution. For beautiful views of Lucerne, the Alps, and the lake, ride the funicular to the Dechiberg on the north side of Lake Lucerne, cruise up Mount Pilatus on the cableway, or head to the Rigi, a famous lookout point. If you like to try the local food, then you can't miss Luzerner Chugalai paste, a shell made of puff pastry filled with veal, mushrooms, and cream sauce. Geneva What we love in Geneva is this urban nature. A walk along the lake, a ride on a boat and then a cafe on a terrace in the old town. It is the second largest city in Switzerland with only 179,000 inhabitants. Also known as the smallest metropolis in the world. The symbol of the world's smallest metropolis is the Jet d'eau, a fountain with a 140-meter high water jet at the periphery of Lake Geneva. Most of the large hotels and many restaurants are situated on the right-hand shore of the lake. The Old Town the heart of Geneva with the shopping and business quarter, hold sway over the left-hand shore. Geneva is Switzerland's most international city, as it is where the European seat of the UNO is based. Even the International Red Cross directs its humanitarian campaigns from there. Besides being a Congress city, Geneva is also a center for culture and history, for trade fairs and exhibitions. The Horloge Fleury, the large flower clock in the Jardin Anglais, is a world-renowned symbol of the Geneva watch industry. Culturally, this city on the westernmost fringe of Switzerland has much to offer. 
international artists perform in the Grand Théâtre and Geneva Opera House, and an extremely diverse range of museums such as the Musée International de l'Horlogerie, a watch museum with a collection of jewelry watches and musical clocks. Geneva lies idyllically between alpine peaks and vineyards by the largest lake in Western Europe. St. Gallen St. Gallen lies in the northeastern region of Switzerland and south of Lake Constance. It is considered to be one of the most picturesque places in Switzerland. Every Swiss city has such a unique cultural fabric that's drastically diverse from the other. St. Gallen has a very prominent European touch to it be it its architecture, food, or heritage. It is located in the northern part of the country and has amazing things for everybody sightseeing, entertainment, literary arts, and much more. The library at the St. Gallen Abbey Convent has been voted as one of the most beautiful libraries in the world and as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for holding manuscripts dating back to the 8th century. Those who love their drinks, St. Gallen is a must-visit. The city is famous for its wildlife and nature trails as well. St. Gallen, due to its location near the lake, enjoys pleasant summers with temperatures averaging at around 17 degrees Celsius. The winters are harsh and freezing, accompanied by constant snowfall. The old town of St. Gallen is full of these intricately designed houses and you will find it hard to walk along the street without bumping into something as there are so many stunning details to see as you walk along. You can also check out St. Gallen Cathedral one of the last few Baroque-era churches left in Switzerland, and its pastel-colored interior, which is something you don't see often in a European church. It is surprising to see how beautiful this city is so if you are looking for a beautiful authentic Swiss town to visit, St. Gallen is highly recommended. Basel If you do city trips in Switzerland, Basel has to be on your list. The third largest city in Switzerland hosts more than 30 different museums and some of them actually belong to the most famous ones in the world. Besides the museums, you should take a look at the Basel Cathedral which is probably the most popular site in town, the Gate of Spalen or the Tingli Fountain. It is one of the most beautiful cities in Switzerland especially known for the diversity of its flora and fauna. Like all the major Swiss cities, Basel also has its own charming old town area, which takes one back in the luxurious and slow pace of life as it was in the medieval era. It has stone houses with tiled roofs, beautiful cafes, well-kept boutiques, and vantage points to see stunning views of the River Rhine. Basel remains rainy throughout the year with overcast skies. The summers are comfortable with July being the hottest month. The winters are freezing with January being the coldest month. The temperatures fall below zero often accompanied by snowfall. Lauterbrunnen, the magical land of Switzerland. It is one of the most beautiful mountain villages in Switzerland. It is located in the middle of the U-shaped Lauterbrunnen Valley near Interlaken with two stunning cliffs on both sides of town, and the iconic 300-meter high. Lauterbrunnen offers travelers an abundance of beautiful sights to see and plenty of extreme activities to do from hiking to Wengen. Another small mountain village where you will be able to take in the view of Lauterbrunnen and its valley from up high to seeing base jumpers jumping off these stunning cliffs. Interlaken 
located between Lake Brienz and Lake Thun is Interlaken, one of Switzerland's most beautiful places for sure. This resort town is absolutely stunning with acres upon acres of open space, flower gardens, and the peaks of Eiger, Jungfrau, and Monk towering over the town. Visitors can enjoy the area's many cafes or go kayaking, hiking, or abseiling dependent on the time of year. There are over 45 different modes of transport including cable cars and railways. In the winter, skiers and snowboarders can take their pick from the surrounding resorts and cross-country ski along with the extensive trail network. In the summer, paragliders launch from Bietenberg Niederhorn. During the warmer months, paragliding is popular. No matter what time of year it is, Interlaken is definitely one of the must-visit places in Switzerland. Bern, the capital city of Switzerland. The capital of Switzerland, Bern, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and perhaps the most beautiful city in Switzerland. This old town is medieval, which is apparent in its architecture. The tallest cathedral in Switzerland is located there as well. There are also 16th century towers and cobbled streets. A popular attraction is the medieval clock tower, Zeitglog, which has moving puppets. If you are looking for a nice Swiss city that has a perfect blend between architectural beauty and fun activities to do in the city, Bern is the best place for you. St. Moritz It is one of the top mountain destinations in the world. In fact, two Winter Olympics have been hosted there. There are two parts to this town. St. Moritz Bad and St. Moritz Door. The former sits on the valley floor and has more affordable accommodations. In the summer, hiking, biking, and water sports abound. Glacier skiing is also available in the summer. This is a popular destination throughout the year and during the winter. Visitors can enjoy everything from bobsledding to skating. During the summer visitors can enjoy glacier skiing, water sports, and hiking. St. Moritz is one of the super nice places in Switzerland to visit. Zermatt Zermatt is a small town that is famous for skiing and mountaineering due to its proximity to the Matterhorn, one of Switzerland's highest mountains. It is a good town for walking to various sites, since gasoline-driven vehicles are not permitted. Any vehicles within the city limits must be battery-operated. Fortunately, for visitors, it takes 30 minutes or less to walk between sites. The town is accessible via scenic train routes that connect it with the outside world. We all know that Switzerland is an incredible country to visit, even though it might be one of your more costly holidays. This country truly has a diverse range of incredible destinations that will surely leave a long-lasting impression on your memory bank. Switzerland always has and always will be one of the top destinations to travel to. Thank you for watching.